Four to the double cheese and sausage. Right here, dude. Ridgemont High's Mr. Hand wasn't the first teacher to deal with distractions, except today, Jeff Spicoli is not the only one losing focus. In fact, a Pew Research survey shows 95% of teens own or have access to a smartphone. Contrast that with a study in the Journal of the American Medical Association, 90% of school principals support restrictions on cell phone use. 80% say cell phones at school have negative effects on academics and social development. Even if we're not consciously, you know, thinking about our phone while it's there, at some level our brain is essentially having to work not to think about it. Dr. Lori Cook with the Brain Performance Institute at UT Dallas says research backs it up, the idea that phones can be a big distraction at school. A University of Texas study found evidence that just having a phone nearby, like in a backpack, affected cognitive performance, even if the phone was switched off. Dr. Cook cites several reasons why, like the so-called dopamine addiction from a steady flow of messages and notifications, and the habit of just constantly checking our phones. And then there's FOMO, the fear of missing out, what's happening on our phones without us. So what can parents do? It's hard to put the genie back in the bottle and take away phones altogether, but we can encourage kids to leave their phones off at school and put away. Consider installing apps that control access, don't be afraid to ask a teacher if your kid's device is a distraction. And set examples by modeling healthy phone use at home. Absolutely, our kids see that and learn from that. And so I think it's really important for us to be good models and have some dedicated uh, technology-free time to do those other things that really allow us to thrive. For WFAA, I'm Mark Iztook.